did you get out of that one? Very simple. Let's see you get out of that one. There. Now see what you made me do. Be on trying to help. Yes. Well, don't help no more. I haven't won a game all day. Tough luck, Alfalfa. Want to try it again? Yeah, might as well. There's nothing else to do this time. Except to go to school all week and play checkers on Saturdays. What a life. You said it. Nothing ever happens. Go ahead, you move. Say, do you fellas have to annoy me? Yes, there's nothing else to do. Why don't you go out and look around town? Maybe there's a dog fight or something going on. That's a good idea. And if you see anything exciting, come and tell us. Okay, Banky. Come on, Barky. I hope that you and your daughter will enjoy your new home, Mr. King. Well, after living on circus trains all year, I'm sure we will. Ooh, that's right. You do travel with the circus, don't you? Travel with it? Why, he owns it, don't you, Daddy? I sure do, honey. Aren't Did you hear it all, Earl? I saw them. Well, let's go back. Okay. And he got a little sad. You own it, sir, don't you, Pop? About then, yes, didn't you, Butch? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's get this straight. You see a man moved into Joan's house, and he owns a circus, and he got a pretty daughter? Yes. Yes. That's simple. This is the greatest moment of our lives. What are you talking about? Don't you see? Now's our chance to travel and see life. We'll join the circus. What do we do in the circus? Train animals. We trained Elmer, didn't we? Yeah, but how are we going to get the jobs? Very simple. After his daughter sees me, she'll make her father Horace. My personality never fails. Ah, good afternoon, fair lady. We welcome you to our community. Oh, thank you. And a good afternoon to you. Does your father own a circus? Why, yes. Then please accept this bouquet of flowers as a token of our friendship. Oh, thank you. Won't you come in? The place is all ours. Back to you, gentlemen. Take off your hat. Where's your manners? What about yours? Won't you boys be seated? After you. Now, what we came to see you about... Please, let me handle this. Gee, but you're pretty. Oh, thank you. Why, I bet your father's so proud of you that he'd do anything you ask. Well, he always has. That's great, because we want you to get us jobs in the circus. We're animal trainers. You are? Sure. I'll just show you a sample of our work. Elmer, stand up. Now tip your hat to the lady. Oh, that's wonderful. How's that for training wild animals? I bet your daddy needs men like us. I don't think so. He hasn't any monkeys on the show. Has he bears? Hey, take it easy, pal. I'm handling this. You can't train bears, can you? Sure, it's easy. Now look me in the eye. Does that scare you? Yes. That's just what they do to bears. They hypnotize them. Well, I remember one time in Africa. Where? In Africa. You know, you was with me. Oh, yes. That was an air escape. And how? And was in the heart of the deepest jungle. And Porky and Buckwheat was leading the way. Then you was all around us. And everything was quiet, except the chirping of the boys. Turn back. There's danger on every side. Hot 
danger. I live for it. Ah! Alfalfa never turns back. Follow me. I can use a few bears like that. What did you do with them? Uh, we trained them to act and uh, show them. Really? What kind of an act? A dancing act. Dancing? Yeah, that's right. You know, like this. Why, well, that must have been sensational. Say, I can use men like you in my circus. I think I'll give you a tryout. Come along, Darla. just a little too much. What do you mean, we're getting the jobs, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. I don't think we'll want to run away with any circus when we get through with them. I don't think so either. Now take this, honey, and remember, no laughing. Okay, Daddy. I wonder how he's gonna try us out. Oh, he almost likely wants to train some little pussy cat or something. We cured their circus fever. And how? Look at them run. Oh, maybe this is a life after all. Who said? No more excitement for us. Oh, I tremble. 